now we're going to connect our application with mongodb now before we do that let me quickly uh, import course and apply as a middleware as well otherwise when you make request from our react app to our, our backend there will be an error because our front end runs on port 3000 and server runs on port 8000 so they are technically different origins so when you communicate between different origins you get course error so we need to use that package all right so let's import that import course from course by the way when we uh, when you import anything like this by default it will be imported from node modules folder that's why we didn't have to write dot dot node modules anything like that okay so anything you import like this by default it will import from node modules all right now let's apply that as middleware let's put that on top app dot use course and we just execute that course function which will enable course so we don't get any errors okay so that's done now let's see how we can um, connect our app to mongodb all right so we're going to use mongoose for that which we have installed earlier so let's import that as well import mongoose from mongoose and to use mongodb we have you have two options one if you have installed mongodb locally in your computer then it's really easy if not you can use online uh, mongodb service it's called mongo atlas all right so when you go and sign up to mongo atlas and go through all the process finally you will get the connection url so that is the one you need if you have to use mongo atlas let's visit so mongo atlas you can create one account and one account can have one cluster they call it so one cluster you get it for free now i have written very detailed article on how to go through the entire process okay so let me show you that uh, you can even search how to use mongo atlas so if you search that here somewhere you'll see colorup.com you can go there or if not you can always go to colorup.com and search here for mongo and use how to use mongo atlas just click on this blog okay so this is an extremely detailed article it's up to date just follow everything and you will have mongodb of uh, the url string that you can use in our project so you can see first you will visit the mongo atlas and sign up then complete the sign up process with your name email and so on all right then you will choose the default options you can choose any of this data center give your cluster a name and hit uh, create cluster that will create a cluster think of cluster as a database right so you get your free a tier that is a 512 mb okay so once it is created it takes a couple of minutes to get ready so you will wait for a few minutes then here on the sidebar you will see this network access option you will click there and um, allow access from anywhere so you will click that and confirm then you will create a database user now this user is different than the username uh, the email and password you use to sign up to mongo atlas so that is different and this is different okay this is within the dashboard so you will create a database user okay so by going here on the sidebar database access you will give your database user name and some password or you can even auto generate the password and this is important because this username and password you will be using in that connection url which you will get a bit later okay so you need to remember that now after that you will get the connection string so when you follow this this pop-up box once you do that you will get this option so you will click this one connect to your application you can see connect to your application get a connection string and view driver connection example so you click here when you click you get a url string like this this is what we need okay so you need to copy that and you can see here you get this field okay so that is the username that is the password 
so you will remove these brackets and replace this field with your actual password which you created here when you uh, created a new database user okay so that is the password you will be using here okay so you will replace your password and use that url string simple as that okay so copy to uh, click to copy the connection string replace this field with your actual uh, password and that is all you need to do you can see here that should look something like this so this is the your name and this is the password and this is the url string so in in dot env file you will be putting it as mongo uri you can call it database you can call it anything okay so you will get something like this if you are using mongo atlas and in mongo atlas you can um, have a look at your database you can visually look at your database you can um, update and delete the documents as well so you can see we have users and posts so you can view your data as well just like you do it in your local installation i prefer to use local installation and i encourage you to install locally as well but uh, for some reason if you want to uh, use um, online service you can definitely use it okay so follow this article to get up and running with mongo atlas and get that url string okay so get that string and put it in dot env file so let's go here let's go to env and i'm going to just call database equals to paste your string which should look something like this let me copy that paste here so that will look something like this so this should be your uh, you can see this colon so this should be your username the database user that you created so that should be there and this is the password okay so you replace that and there is your connection url now if you're using local installation then it will look something like this so if you're using local mongodb colon slash slash localhost colon 27017 slash you will give your database name you can give anything you like let's call it booking udemy all right so if you have the local installation of mongodb you can simply write this url string and it will automatically create this database for you to use but if you don't have local installation and you're interested you can visit the docs and follow the instruction it's not that difficult how to install mongodb if you search you can go to the official docs docs.mongodb and here you see the tutorials for the community edition the free one you can click on this one and you have the options whether you are on mac or windows if you are on windows you can click here and follow all the steps okay you can download mongodb and just follow all these steps to get it up and running now if you're using mac uh, there is another tutorial for mac so you can click here so it's really to you uh, really easy to use um, install mongodb using homebrew so you can first install homebrew and use the brew command to install mongodb okay so once you have mongodb up and running you can use another software which is also free it's called robo 3t this will allow you to uh, see your database visually just like in mongo atlas just like in mongo atlas you can see your database edit and delete whatever you want to do like this one so it would be much easier if you can see your um, database collection visually so you can do that with robo 3d so you go here and download once you download you you can open that and that will show you all the mongodb database you have in your computer if you already have if not it will create a new one whenever your project um, creates a new one so in our case it will automatically create this uh, database all right so let me open that robo 3d so once you install that you can open that 
I have some um, existing database here. So at the moment you don't see uh, booking Udemy, but later once we save anything in the database, you will be uh, able to see that visually here. It will automatically get created. All right. So we'll come back to it. But this is how you can start using MongoDB. So that was all about how to install and get up and running. But to connect our app, we can use Mongoos now. So let me write here DB connection. So to connect to DB, Mongoos gives us this connect method. Okay, so this connect method takes uh, the, the URL string, which is here. We have stored in the ENV by the name of database. So this string. So whether it's a local installation or Mongo Atlas doesn't matter, whatever that is, this is what we need to give. All right, so we can access that using process.env.env.database. And this is all you need. However, this gives us the promise. So we can easily use then and cat. We can use a callback function here. So if it is successful, you can console log, let's say a db connected so if it is successful if there was an error you can have a look at that error so you can catch the error again you get a callback function here you can console log um, db connection error and you can also see the actual error for that obviously you need to grab that here perfect so this is the bare minimum requirement to connect to mongodb now, since we have made some changes in the env file, let's make sure we restart the server. Let's come here, restart the server, and we might see some warnings here uh, with the mongoose connection. DB connected. All right, so we don't see any warnings at the moment, but we might see some warnings which we can uh, come and fix later. So we just need to add, uh, pass the second argument here, which is uh, the config object and we can um, write some options so you will get something like this let me paste here actually you will definitely need this one so you will get these warnings in the, the terminal so what you have to do is you have to write these you have to pass these as the config option which is the second argument to this connect uh, function now pause this video for a while and write it down so with this we should be ready to start using mongodb let me restart one more time i'm surprised i didn't get any errors but i've been using this for, for pretty much forever so i'm pretty sure you, you will need this one okay so that means we have successfully connected to mongodb as well